We just got back not too long ago from our honeymoon. We went on a cruise to uh, Santorini, Greece, and the cruise was uh, fine. Uh, we fought the whole time. <laughs> and I knew we were going to, and, and the reason is she booked the cruise, right? And then she shows it to me on a calendar, and the cruise is at the end of the month. Guess what else happens at the end of the month over at our house? <laughs> I'm looking at it going, oh, great, I'm going to have seven days in a little cruise ship room trying to get Jeannie back in the fucking bottle. <laughs> and my wife's the nicest person I ever met, but you get her PMS and then a couple of glasses of red wine, she turns into, let me tell you something about you that you don't know. <laughs> I'm all ears, honey. <laughs> now, I'm not making light of women's periods. I would never do that. That's serious stuff. If that happened to me one time, I'd be in the hospital. You know, <laughs> It wouldn't be any of this nonchalant, oh, look, I'm spotting f that. I'd be running down the road like my hair was on fire. <laughs> Screaming, my balls are bleeding. My balls are bleeding. But it's our honeymoon, man. And my wife, my wife is on her period. She won't have sex with me at all. No way. <laughs> Which is bullshit. Because if the roller coaster's broken, they don't shut down the whole amusement park. Because if they did, you'd be standing outside that fence going, the log ride's working. <laughs> and I've got some coupons. Foxworthy, right before we leave to go on this thing, Foxworthy gives me a Viagra. Now, I had never taken one before, and I told him, buddy, I don't need that. And he goes, seriously, dude, you take this on your honeymoon night, you will come back home and thank me in person. I'm like, all right. So I take it, right? And I walk into the little stateroom there, and she goes, I'm just not in the mood. And I'm like, yeah, me either. <laughs> My dick was hard enough to hunt with. I could have chased down an elk and beat it to death with this dick. Oh, oh shit, I broke an antler. I was going to have this thing mounted. Now I'm going to mount this thing. Come here. Give me something else to f Hand me that parrot. And that wasn't even our biggest point of contention. Our biggest point of contention. <laughs> that was my impression of a parrot desperately trying to get away. <laughs> I just added that to the show. <laughs> He's afraid of the cheese wheel. Our biggest point of contention was that she wanted me to hang out by the swimming pool all day long. Every day. Now, normally I would have done it. I would have just laid there in a lounge chair and read a book just to shut her up. Because at this point, I'm out of diamonds. <laughs> but I didn't want to hang out by the swimming pool all day long, every day. Because there was a fan of mine out there, bless his heart. And this guy wanted to talk to me all day long. Yak, 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 yak. 
This guy told me his entire life story against my will. <laughs> this guy raped my ear. This guy forcefully shoved unwanted information into my ear hole. No means no. This guy's telling me stories somebody else told him about somebody they know. I'm third generation, don't give a f And I felt bad for the guy, man. His story was that his wife left him and started sleeping with all his buddies. But I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Well, I wish I knew you better. <laughs> I just f***ed an elk and a parrot. Human p*** is sounding great to me. And that wasn't even the guy's worst quality. This guy was amazing. This guy was about 60 years old. He was in great shape. He was a marathon runner. And he was a little guy, about 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, 130 pounds maybe. And he had a great big nose and huge hands and this little bitty bathing suit with what looked like a squirrel living in it. I sh** you not. And he wouldn't just talk to me either. He would lean this thing into me and bob it around a little bit. I guess to make sure I noticed it, right? But there's people on the other side of the swimming pool going, look at the dick on that guy. I wonder what he feeds it. Well, we make it to Santorini. Now, Santorini, Greece is a little bitty tiny island and it's the partial rim of an ancient volcano. And for 2,000 years, folks, the only way to get to the top of the rim on the port side of the island was to take a donkey 800 feet up these switchbacks. It takes forever. Until five years ago, somebody built a tram that does the same thing in 18 seconds. <laughs> and I was shocked to see the donkey guy still in business, even though he had the worst sales pitch I ever heard in my life. <laughs> it was, you can take the donkey to the top of the rim, or you can take the tram. It is the same price. <laughs> that would be my biggest secret if I were you, buddy. <laughs> I'd start lying to people as soon as they got off the ship. The donkey is $3.50. The tram is around 2,800 euro. <laughs> Saddle me one up. <laughs> Come on, honey, it'll be fun. And you're in such a good mood. Maybe a donkey ride would be just the thing to cheer you up. <laughs> well, as it turns out, I'm a tram guy, right? So we take the tram up, and then we got to walk up from that straight up these ancient cobblestone streets, up, 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 because there's one more church in the Mediterranean, and we haven't seen it. <laughs> And I'm sweating scotch from every pore on my body. <laughs>